Hi guys. Oh, it didn't ding. Hi guys. It's about 11:31, and uh, I just sat down to eat. Uh, it's hot here today, and the 87 supposed to be. Although in here we got the air on. Pete turned it on this morning because it's a lot easier to keep it cool than to get it cool. And uh, of course we'll close curtains when the sun comes, and we stay pretty cool in here. On most days we don't even need the air, but I know Pete gets really hot, and that's fine. Um, let's see. Here's what I'm going to eat. Salad from the bag with tuna salad and chopped tomatoes and a little bit of ranch to bump up the flavor. Between calls, I have been um, replying to comments. I'm almost done with that. Then I can, between calls, I will be able to... Um, Watch videos, your, your videos. I watched a bunch yesterday. I'm trying to get caught up. Um, I'm following the advice of many wise YouTubers before me. And when I go through my comments, I can click on that person's name and then watch their videos. Cause it, and that makes it real easy. And then I just have to go to the subscriptions and catch everybody else that uh, you know I subscribe to. I see somebody else is pulling out now. It's a fifth wheel. I can't see out the door because it's closed. <laughs> but um, they're leaving. And yeah, it's going to be empty. Pretty empty for long. Pete should be home. I don't know. He was going to stop it. Uh, I forgot where he said he was going to stop. Uh Yesterday, uh, the Kmart is going out of business here. So yesterday, Pete was able to score a lemon squeezer. I don't know how much he paid for it. But he squeezes his lemons by hand and every day complains about the seeds. We have a strainer hanging right there next to the stove on the wall. You can probably see it right over that screen. But, <laughs> but a lemon squeezer, you know, is good. So uh, let's see. Oh, yeah, he scored a couple walkie-talkies that are supposed to be good for 37 miles. Regularly 60. I think they were half price. Or thereabouts. Um, so we can keep in contact. And when Leland's here, he can use one, too. And then we can keep in touch with him while he's out riding his bike around. And won't have to stand out in front of the RV with the police whistle. Several people commented on the sprouts and the bread that I'm making. I am still perfecting the bread. I worked it out in my brain for several weeks before I even tried it, um, which is how I usually come up with stuff. And um, then I know what I need to do to tweak it. Hopefully I won't have to tweak it more than a couple times and it will be ready for prime time. But um, people have shown interest in sprouts. Sprouts are living food. Sprouts are great. Number one, they're alkalizing. But number two, they have live enzymes that help with digestion. They're easy to eat. They're easy to use. But it's live food. It's got live enzymes. It's got good bacteria. It's got um, an incredible array of vitamins and minerals. Um, everything that's hibernating in the seed, all of the nutrition that's hibernating in the seed is brought alive by sprouting. I have my fresh air back. Yay! I think I saw Pete and Chewy down there somewhere. You can see there's just nobody around. There's that one there. Oh, there's two. There's another one came in. One way down there, the far end. They've been there all year. I think they're seasonal. We still have two over here. Nobody down here. It's staying cool in here. I, we just opened up the windows though for some fresh air. Now the sun it's getting kind of cloudy and they're saying it's going to rain. So we thought we'd catch some fresh air before the rain starts. There they are. I see little Chewy way down there. Way down there. Let's see. They're kind of between those two trees. There they come. 
see, when I take Chewie out, we go to the closest tree, I tell him to pee, and we come back in. If he takes Chewie out, Chewie, he says Chewie takes him all the way around the park. You see the size of that dog, and you see the size of that man? I find that hard to believe. <laughs> They're so cute together, my boys. Okay, well, I'm going to get back to whatever I was doing. I can't remember now, and I'll see you later. Bye. We've been having thunder and lightning for, not lightning, just rumbles of thunder for a while. A few minutes. Half hour, I don't know. So Pete took the golf cart back, and here he comes in the rain, walking home. Supposed to get a cool front moving through tonight and thunderstorms sometimes severe. So, yay for us. And there's Chewie, happy to see Dad. Okay. Hi, Chewie. So, yeah, we had, um, with my phone, camera in my phone. Yesterday, when I was sick, I was laying in bed, and I, um, this phone, you can put a SD card in, and it will, you can set it to recognize it as internal memory instead of an SD card. So I did that, but the phone recognizes it as, like, 160 gigabytes of um, internal memory, rather than a 32 gig internal memory and a 128 of SD. However, apps wouldn't, most apps wouldn't. So I reformatted it as a, as an SD card and I'm going to be keeping my, my, um, all my audio books and my, um, pictures and music and files, documents, downloads, all that stuff will go on the SD card. You just keep the apps on the camera itself or the phone itself. But when I formatted it for an SD card, I lost a bunch of my apps, which I knew would happen, obviously. I don't care. They're just games. And my open camera. So I reinstalled the open camera again. And now it's not dark anymore as like it was after I screwed up the settings. So yay for that. And uh, you're kind of zoomed in far. There, that's more like I didn't mean to be zoomed in that far. That's pretty much right. That's pretty much right. <laughs> so, anyway. We're getting some rain. Obviously, we opened the house back up when it cooled and the cool front came through. And now we're getting some nice, cool air. Real air. And, uh... That's it. I get off work in about 40 minutes, so I'll see you guys later. Bye. It's 4.35. It's coming down like crazy. Had to close my window, but I got it open a little wee crack. Yep, coming down like crazy. I don't know if you'll be able to see this, guys. The hail is bouncing all over the place out there. Let's try it through the window. See it? There's our hail bouncing around. You can hear it on the roof, too. We don't get hail that often. It's pretty small, it's pea size, but still hail. Like Chewie. He's taking cover under the piano bench. Yep, there it is. Just thought I'd share. This is the stupidest weather. Still raining, sun's out. So now it is instantly getting hot and humid. Instantly humid. It was nice and cool. Now the sun's coming out. 
and humidity is going up. What do you guys think? Kind of rainy, huh? In fact, looking out Pete's window, you can't even see the house down there. It's raining so hard. Anyway, we're, uh, it's loud. My butt's sick of sitting up today on the final day. So I'm laying down and Pete's laying down because he was busy all day. Wow, look at that wind picking up. Woo, that just started. <sighs> that just started. That's a big wind. Holy moly! Yeah, we probably should. Pete says we should probably turn on the weather radio. I'll probably close the window, like, except for Hanch. That is a heck of a wind that started up there. We're supposed to have severe storms tonight. I don't know if I'll be walking across there to the shower or not. Like I told Pam when we were chatting today, Bug Pam, I might just take my clothes up and run around out in the road, my bar soap. Yeah, I gotta close the window a little bit here. There, I'll just leave it open a little. Wow. It's a bad back there in the woods. Well, unless you... We're definitely getting some rain. Well, if anything happens, I'll let you know. I just like after work. Some days I just gotta lay down and let my spine relax, and that's what I'm doing. If anything else interesting happens, I'll fill you in. Okay, see you later. Hi guys. Well, it looks like nothing ever happened, doesn't it? Looks like we just had a little rain. Okay, focus. Not on the screen. Focus outside. Anyway, um, yeah, we did get rain. Uh, lots of rain, lots of wind, as you saw. Um, we're okay, of course. Um, up in Ross Common, however... Uh, one of our friends uh, posted some pictures on Facebook, and it looks pretty nasty up there. Massive trees uprooted and they're without power a lot of places, and uh, sidewalks ripped up, and pretty nasty. But we didn't have any of that kind of damage. I didn't hear any trees fall. Did you hear any trees fall, though? No. Me either. That's good. That means you don't have to run out there at the chainsaw at midnight, right? Right. There's another round of storms coming through. This one they say 60 mile an hour winds plus and um, one inch size hail. We just had baby hail before. So that's coming. Uh, the warning is expires at 10. It's about 8.30 now. So we shall see. So I hope you guys all have a fantastic Friday and um, take care God bless and good night okay guys it's kind of dim but I said I would show you how to do to sprout there's one thing you gotta remember I don't sprout I can't sprout only God can sprout <laughs> so here's some organic sunflower seeds Making a lot this time. Here's some organic shelled um, pumpkin seeds called pepitas. A 
Oops. Just spilled a few. And then over here in this strainer, organic peas. I have a whole gallon jug of those down in the cupboard. <laughs> so the next thing I do, sorry about the shadow, I'm trying to do this one-handed while I record. Next thing I do is I take each strainer and I give the, sorry guys, this is hard to do. Everything a good rinse. And I'll do the same to this, but I'm going to use both hands. So just a minute. Okay, the next thing I do, sorry about this. I'm, this isn't very professional, is it? Next thing I do is fill, put water in here and tell it. More than covers the peas. I want it, like if there's an inch of peas, I want two inches of water so there's an inch above them as well. And then you'll see any impurities in there will come to the top right away, whatever might have gotten in there, piece of the plant or whatever. Wish it was brighter. And then I do the same thing here. That's about three quarters of an inch from the top of the bowl. There's that. There's those. And we let God do the rest. I'll see you guys tomorrow.